deck is Pen Flinger Quest Rogue. The goal is to get an early Pen Flinger, bounce it with spells, and complete the quest that way. Once you've got the quest completed, you have some top end in Valir the Hollow plus Zola the Gorgon for infinite value in the late game. It's got a decent amount of card draw plus some quest synergies like Licensed Adventure to give you coins to bounce the Pen Flinger. And then the real standout is, of course, Secret Passage, which allows you to cycle through your deck a little bit quicker. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Maybe I keep backstab in case it's aggro druid, but I don't really like keeping backstab. Hey, thanks, Eight of Hate. Okay, well, the backstab would have been a good keep, but I still think it's, like, kind of suspect. I just have to hope they don't have an AoE buff. This isn't worth the backstab. I mean, honestly, that's not even that good, is it? Like, we kind of force them into that, and I'm just fine with it. Here we go. Got a slight board lead here, but they get to dictate trades. Cool. Of course it's the right way. You can count this on me. This is weird. We should not have a board lead against Aggro Druid. That's like <laughs> the entire point of uh, their deck is to. Oh god, here it comes. Porkins, thank you for the three months with at uh, tier one. Really appreciate that. Hmm. Hey, loser. I want to retain this in hand because the hero power kills it. Pen Flinger actually put in a lot of work there. Next turn we can uh, Flinger. What? What? Why is there a swipe in your deck? What? <laughs> okay. I mean, that's just fine, right? There's no reason to complete the quest this turn. I just want to go wide. Sad fireball to face. I mean, nah, I don't think that's worth it all. Like, you just have Savage Roar. Hey, loser. I've got um, Shadow Step on the Vicious, so. I think at this point, the Pen Flinger has done his job. If they want to, like, Invest in killing it. I'm just okay with that six turns without drawing patches. Yeah, that's definite cheating 
I'm glad we killed that uh, cannon, though. I bet this deck could make good use of uh, Voracious Reader. Eh, I mean, our hand is often full. This is a an anomaly, I think. I don't think I need to um, bounce that anymore. I'll just go here. Kill that. Here. I'm going to shadow step that to bring this back. Oh my god. Okay. We did it, chat. Hey, loser. Hey, loser. Raffle will win. That is a that is a bold prediction, chat. <laughs> but I think you're right. All right. <laughs> we got our boy. And we got some card draw. We've got some coins. We've got some draw. I think this is a a decent, decent hand. Hopefully it's not King's Bane though. Okay, secret is fine. Let's just start drawing. I don't think I'm quite ready to get the um the flinger going. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need the Zola in the late game just yet, but it's probably best to err on the side of caution. Might need the Zola in the late game. This wasn't on the map. So, that's Dirty Tricks. So playing the spells with the pen flinger is going to draw them cards. We've got one, two, three, four plays of the flinger. All right, that could be any mage secret, <laughs> which makes our lives difficult. This wasn't on the map. That's one of the better outcomes for me. Am I ready to give them cards yet? Probably, yeah. I want to save the uh, flinger in hand. Especially with the prep. So now we have flinger prep sap. Actually, I kind of want to use the prep for the, um, the quest reward time. When is the leg reveal? Over a week ago. That's a weapon. 
Okay, so I think that one's going to be plagiarized. This might be the list I was running. Ouch! Thank you for the prime. Start by drawing. Am I drawing? Let's go face first. I don't want to give up the uh, the late game value with the novice, but I don't have a better play. Okay, that makes me feel better about it. I don't want to give them too many cards into plagiarize, so I'm going to hold here, and I don't really have a good play anyway. Valera is um, very nice. Yep. Zola the questing. Zola in the questing gives up our late game win condition. Especially with the Valera draw, that would not be something we want to do. I hope you like my invention. So I should be able to go Penflinger Sap. That's three mana. Prep. Penflinger Quest. So that's four, seven mana. <laughs> that's cute. He's going back into hand no matter what I do, right? The question becomes, do I want to... Do I want to draw off of this first? I think I've got enough cards. All right, so that could be plagiarize or... Oof, we're overdrawing. No, we're not. We don't win in fatigue, so we need to... Those are useless for the opponent. I don't think there's a reason to give up a broom right now. Eh, maybe there is. Cool. They don't have weapon buffs and they have a lot of rogue cards in their deck, so. From the uh, the espionage, one mana rogue cards, but rogue cards nonetheless. Would desert hair work in this deck? Uh, it would work, but it's, I mean, it's not better than the cards that we're currently running. Like it's really bad before you complete the quest, and you typically don't want to have a lot of cards that are weak prior to the quest completion. Play the Valera, and we get infinite rushing uh, life steal minions. Just like trading. So that's dirty tricks. I need to be careful about um, spending mana on spells. Have we seen a duplicate yet? Yes, we've seen two cutting classes. This is very similar to the list I posted recently, but I don't think I was running Blackjack Stunner. Oh, that's real good. I mean, unless there's an Edwin, that's a very expensive clear, isn't it? <laughs> I 
No! <laughs> Our boy! He was so young. I don't want to dirty tricks, so I can't play spells here. I need to get rid of uh, at least one more card here. Incredible. Yeah, we potentially lose our last uh, pen flinger, but if he sticks, we should also have lethal. So, one of those cards is a spectral cutlass as well, without any buffs. Got him. I think Dark Glare needs a nerf. Zeddy posted a video about it. Yes, Dark Glare potentially uh, potentially does need a nerf. We'll see. Why not play the one mana charge minions? Because we've just got Penflinger for damage. Like, what are we cutting? You can't just add cards to a deck. You have to remove something first. And this deck needs to run a, a few more spells because it's centered around Penflinger than you would otherwise want to. Which chat has infinite mana and infinite card slots. <laughs> yeah. Got the coin guys. The, the coin guys are good for Penflinger, though. Like, they serve a purpose. Because it's a bounce effect for, the, like, the Penflinger. The deck is not built to be optimal. It's built to, around Penflinger. I'm just doing it because it's fun. Could you? Oh, hey, I do like drawing cards. I hope you like my invention. Got a lot of spells here. I hope you like my invention. There we go. Uh, I'll wait until next turn to go in on that. Because I still do have a lot of spells. Well, I've got a lot of coins, too. What if I just do this? Hey, loser. Just cut the coin guy, they said. So you're building around the pen flinger, right? But the ones that are actually good run the pirate package? Yeah, definitely. Sure. I would like to find a sap here. I definitely need to kill that. I don't actually think I want to use the prep here because I kind of want to save it for the uh, quest completion. Which means I'm taking two damage. They're double overloaded next turn, so it's not like they can do much here. I just don't want this to start uh, scaling. But it does buy me some time. Here's the sap. Hey, loser. Hey, loser. All right, we got the quest done. Hey, loser. We can use this to um, after the after we complete the quest to get the scale hide down. The problem with this is that like. It, once we complete the quest, the pen flinger is kind of a bummer because he returns to hand, but I think we just hold here, float a mana. 
Unless I want to play the broomstick here, but broomstick's pretty good for, like, giving the novice rush. I think we hold. We've got six mana to work with. If they clear the flinger, it's just kind of fine. If they allocate three mana to that minion again, I'm pretty happy about that, right? That's not a strong minion. I think we just always keep the Secret Passage in this deck. I'll play this on curve to generate coins uh, in preparation for the Pen Flinger. Speaking of preparation. <laughs> Am I playing in on hitting Legend this stream? No, if I were playing in on hitting Legend this stream, I wouldn't be playing this deck. Well, not necessarily the cards we want here. Illidan would be surprised if he played preparation against him, it's true. Okay. This might mean we have, like, time to set up if it's, um, Burgle Rogue. Okay. I just need to draw it here, I think. My hand's kind of poopy. I'm not going to complete the quest with the novice anyway. Yikes. <laughs> uh, my hand's kind of gross, but I'll just go in on the Secret Passage next turn. I'm not giving up the coins, because the goal of the Secret Passage is to find the Pen Flinger and then put it back into my hand. Well, do I need to test for counter? I'll use one coin here. Penflinger? Nope. Let's try that again. Well, we got him, but we don't have any spells to put him back into hand, so. I think if I play him, he just dies. Just trade hero power. So I think it's too risky to play him here. Okay. So we get this remaining in our hand. Oh, wait, we retain a pen flinger? Oh, because I drew into one. Okay, that's perfect. We drew into one off of the uh, the quest in. Solid star. Thank you for the 300 bits. Good morning, Raffle. I enjoyed your article on mental accounting, but I'm not sure how does bit spending fit into it? <laughs> uh, thank you for that support. Am I overdrawing now? No. I want to save at least one prep for the, uh, the Vanish and the other for the um, quest reward. Is the dual class video about dual class card video something Blizzard approached you about? Yes, they reached out to me uh, before the expansion. Ogre. Oh, they have played in espionage. Didn't even realize that. Oh, if you're sure. Hey, loser. 
This is probably worth a vanish, right? Do I need to prep it, though? I want to hold on to the dagger swings because I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to hero power before the Valyria comes down. Draw first. I need to find a spell. Hey loser. hey, loser. This should complete the quest, right? Yes. I need to save the uh, the Zola for the Valera because I do think that's going to be relevant this game. We can also prep the quest reward. Hey, loser. All right. Got a lot of value this game. But the opponent may have a lot of healing. I get the sense that they might be a Reno deck. I guess maybe not if they're running Espionage, right? Espionage would be pretty bad as a Reno deck. They do seem to like their, uh, their mage cards, don't they? Okay, that's the second. No, that's the first stowaway. Just coming back into play. Let's kill some stuff. And then allows us to draw cards. I think I want to say uh, I've got another scale hide, and I can I can Zola the scale hides with the uh, the Valera. So just getting this down seems good. My hand is too full. Burning a sap also seems good. <laughs> Flame strike's pretty good for the opponent there. Okay, I think we just shove the Valera. There's no reason to clear that, especially with a pen flinger in hand. Hey, lazy monk. Doing pretty well, how about yourself? I need to be on the lookout for the opponent's vanishes. Um, and... Oof, my god. <laughs> so many. I do need to uh, make sure that I get a lot of value from the Zola. And the pen flinger for that matter. Probably cycle between those two for a bit. I got the ogre back though. Sneaking on board was a bad idea. One of those is gonna need to be played here. Cut purse is fine. Wasn't me, chat. Hey, 
gonna float two mana here. Uh, I could lose the pen flingers, but I think it's a risk that's worth to set up lethal in the spot. Prep vanish. Blizzard. Okay. Yeah, kitty cat. I want to save one of these. Hey, loser. I swear I had to mute the game last time I saw a Penflinger as a major card in a deck. <laughs> Why would you do that? He's got the best voice line in all of Hearthstone. Loser. <laughs> we got him, chat. Afraid of the pen flinger. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, IGN Unknown, Justice Crater, Fizzle Jizzix, Molly Mock, Boardman5, Matthew Crow, and Nick the Chef. 